Okay, the song we're going to work on now is called Hook, and it's by a band called Blues Traveler. And the reason I'm choosing this one is because it uses um, a couple of bar chords so we can start kind of getting comfortable with moving bar chords around. The chord progression is the same chord progression over and over and over, and it's also listed in the video uh, details, and so you can look at that too. But it's A to E, so those are open chords. Then it moves to F sharp minor, which is at the second fret, F sharp, remember that. And then it's using the E minor shape. And then it actually moves to C sharp. And so what we're going to do, uh, there's a couple different ways that we can do this, but the first thing we're going to do is just keep everything on the sixth string for now. So C sharp would be the ninth fret of the sixth string, and we would make that major. Okay, so we're going from A, and it doesn't again matter which fingers you use for A, whatever's comfortable for you. So we have A, E, F sharp minor, to C sharp. So those are your two bar chords, are F sharp minor, to C sharp major, or just C sharp. Okay, so this one you will be using the middle finger on, this one you are not. So A, F sharp minor, to C sharp. Then we're going to go to D, to A, to D, to E. So again, two groups of four measures is the way you can think of this. A, E, F sharp minor, C sharp are the first four, and then D, A, D, E are the second four. And again, it's written in the, uh, the video details, so you can look at that, but just so you know how it goes. So we've got A to E, F sharp minor, C sharp, D to A, D to E. Now again, uh, just like that handout I give you where it talks about the rhythm and all that sort of thing, how to break down a song and learn the song in detail, Definitely follow that and, and break each part down. The one thing I want you to think about with this song is the rhythm. So the, the speed of the song is about here. So of course your ups would be in between those. So you'd want to break each part apart, of course, you know, working on the chords, working on the rhythm, finding the beat, finding the one, um, and then of course you're scratching, you know, all that kind of stuff before you even try and play along with the song, breaking down all the sections. Now with a lot of my students, what I like to do is I'll take a song like this, and what I'll have them do is in real time in a guitar lesson, is I'll have them start trying to switch chords in different places. So for instance, instead of playing A here, the next time around, they'll try and play A here. And then they'll do E and whatever. And then maybe the next time around, they try and play E up here. Okay, And they keep trying to play different places in real time to see how well they know their open chords and their bar chords. Okay, Now, if you do know your fifth string bar chords, what you can do then is this. You could play F sharp minor here just like before, but we could play C-sharp here at the 4th fret of the 5th string. We could play that there. So you wouldn't have to move so far. So you'd have A to E to F-sharp minor to C-sharp here, and then D, A, D, and E. Okay. Or you could play F-sharp minor up here. Okay. Now technically when they play it, they play it up here. They go, let me think about how this goes here. Um, They do this little thing there. Okay, we're not going to worry about that right now. We're just trying to get used to being able to play the bar chords along with regular chords. So your options would be to play A, E, and D down in this position, although you certainly could play them on one of the other strings. The other thing is you've got F sharp minor and C sharp both existing on the sixth string, which is fine. Or you could play one or the other or both on the fifth string. So you see, you start getting used to being able to move things around to make it a little more interesting. For the first part, though, just play it as A, E, 
F sharp minor, C sharp, just to get used to the six string bar chords. And then D, A, D, E. Just do that. Don't worry about all the other stuff until you've really established that and then try and make it a little more interesting from there if you would like to.